One of Christchurch's business institutions, which has served internationally famous personalities and five generations of locals, is about to be uprooted. Here's Elena James. Inside the Hereford Court Arcade is a shop that's been patronised by visiting celebrities like Sir Lawrence Olivier, Governor's General and even Charles Upham makes a point of visiting this shop when he's in town. The hairdressing shop owned by George and John Wayne has been operating in this spot for 63 years. It's a father and son business. George, now 81, started here when the arcade first opened in 1922. But the business is being uprooted. The arcade is about to undergo major renovation, and while the work's going on, Whitcoles have offered to recite the hairdressers on the arcade's first floor. It'll be the first change of business site George has known since he was an apprentice. He's had an interesting career. For 50 years, he was the man who cut the hair of all the boarders at Christ College. So some of the young boys whose hair you cut at Christ College, do they still come to you now? Yes, and their fathers, you know, for generation after generation. When the, the father is starting his boys a boarder there, he boy generally brings him in and introduces him to me. You come to George when you want anything done. Nevertheless, John Wayne claims there's been a revolution in hairdressing since he joined his dad in the business in 1947. Well, I've met a lot of people, made a lot of friends. It doesn't matter wherever I go in New Zealand, I always see somebody that knows me that has been aboard of, for going there and dad going and bringing people in here and they, they make you, I don't know, they, you know, farmers, they come in here, they bring you in a side of lamb Christmas time. You know, the Philip Frank Wilding from the Hunterlees, he comes in with a side of lamb and then they bring in pigs and so forth, you know, it's, they just hang them on the hook up here. Yeah, that's for you, out at home. The business has been like a second home to many of the Wayne's clients, but it's about to get a facelift. The whole shop front will be torn out, the old mirrors and woodwork will go, so will the seating. The one feature that'll remain is the barber chairs. The Waynes say they'll be back in their old site and open for business again at the end of October. But with old George retiring soon, and the shop, which hasn't been changed since it was first opened, being completely renovated, in some ways it could mark the end of an era.